key to setting these shapes together is to do it one step at a time. So, the first thing I would do is trim away dog ears as they present themselves. And it's pretty much across the board. So I'm going to get those out of the way. Simple enough. Now, I want to sew these together. It's, it, you want to do it in two steps. I'm going to sew the sides of the diamonds together and then I'm going to sew the side of the diamond and a wedge together. What you want to do is turn this shape over and this seam allowance needs to be pinned out of the way because you don't want to sew this seam allowance down while you're sewing uh, the sides of the diamonds together here. So I'm going to carefully pin that out of the way and ignore it. Alright, then let's look again. What we're going to do is sew this and this together here. So fold that over itself and then I'm going to sew from the center point, the center of the block, to this point and back stitch. And the reason I'm going to do it that way is because matching, matching the pointy end of the paper first kind of makes the whole thing easier. So if those papers and points match perfectly, and they do, I mean I can test it with a positioning pin, but if those are good I'm going to pin that. And then these sides are lining up. I'm going to take a positioning pin and push it through here and it pretty much matches. My, the other ones I've done so far have matched. This one's a little off, so I'm going to take a minute and make that match. I'm going to check the inside. Yep, that's good. I'm going to make that match. And then I'm going to take another positioning pin here. Yep, got that one. And I might go ahead now and put a pin in here to hold that. I'm leaving those positioning pins. I'm going to put a pin here to hold that. And then I want to put a positioning pin. Remember this seam has been sewn together and when I tore off the seam allowance papers I lost a little notch of paper right there. But I can see where that seam ends. I'm going to push that through and double check it on the back side. Make sure I've nailed that line right there, that center. I'm going to make sure that this pin is straight up and down. And then this time, mostly because of the way I have it in my hand, I'm going to pin it from this direction to hold it. Now, I, don't, I, I think you can pretty much see how easy it will be to take this to the sewing machine and begin sewing there and sew down, removing pins as needed as you go until you get to that point right there and then you'll backstitch. Alright, what I've done, let me back this up just a little bit, what I've done is, um, it's like magic, I've already got one of these sewn. So here it is, already sewn. All the pins are removed except for for the pin here that's holding that seam allowance out of the way. Now I need to take that pin out right there. Then what I want to do, and this time I'm sewing toward this point each time, I want to swing. Now did you see what I did? I reached underneath and grabbed that diamond so that I could kind of fold it over itself so that I can then more easily bring these points together. Now I'm holding this and I can come here in the center. Remember this point is going to match up with this point and I want to make sure 
that I get that where it needs to be. I think that's it. All right, so I've got that straight. Now, with that positioning pin in place, I'm going to make sure that these raw edges match up. I'm just going to go ahead and put a pin in here to hold that. And then I can double check and be sure that this matches. It's, it mostly matches, but I'm going to move it over just the tiniest little bit like that. Got that positioning pin in straight. I'm going to pin that just to hold it. Now down here, what you want to do is make sure that these edges stay straight here. And you can fold this piece of paper with the fabric. It won't hurt anything, this diamond. And then I want to put a positioning pin in at the end of that sewn seam. Let me pull in a little bit so you can see. So I'm putting my positioning pin there and it matches up, I'm sorry, matches up on the other side. I'm going to keep that straight and then I'm going to throw in a pin right here to hold everything together and then I will take this, whoops, sorry, to the sewing machine as well and begin sewing off the end here. Now, there's not a line that says begin sewing here, but it's pretty easy to follow this line right off the edge. Now, would you want to not sew that down? No, you want to sew that down because that is the outer edge of the block. And when you set this into the corners, it would be not good if this was unsewn. So you're gonna start sewing off here remove positioning pins as needed and sew all the way down, 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 down until you get to that point right there and you'll back stitch. Once that's sewn together, let me back this up a little bit and pull this over. Once that's sewn together, you'll have, you know, a dog ear here and I would just open this up and trim that dog ear off. But you're also going to have paper inside these seam allowances and you're just going to remove it the same way you remove the paper from the other seam allowances. Every time you sew units together, stop, take the time, remove the paper in the seam allowances. So I would do this here and on the other side and down here where the diamonds are sewn together and then I would press the seam allowances. You can take that pin, well that one has been pressed, but you would take the um, pin out, press the seam allowances in the direction of the arrow. They are going to end up flowing around the block. You would sew two diamonds together and then two diamonds together, two diamonds together, two diamonds together, and then you would sew half the block together, you know, another one of these over here on this side, and then you'll sew the two halves of the block together. And I'll come back with um, another short video to show what it looks like when you're pinning the block, you know, the two halves of the block together. So, enjoy it. Remember to take this one one, one side of a diamond, one side of a wedge at a time. Don't try to do this all in one fell swoop. Happy sewing!